Hi guys, welcome to my first ever art vlog. In this video, I'll be trying out my soft pastels for the first time. And this is how the final product looks. Although this is my first video, I will skip on the introductions and yeet everything into the descriptions below. But yes, please like and subscribe. Anyways, I was watching some Instagram videos and I found soft pastel drawings really cool. So, yesterday I went to Art Friends and bought a bunch of soft pastels and pastel paper. For soft pastel drawings, you would want to get a slightly rough paper to catch the pigment. Our normal drawing block is too smooth and most of the pastel will fall off the paper. I bought this pastel paper as it has deeper tooth than normal drawing paper and will hold the dry pigment better. And here is a set of soft pastels. There are many kinds of pastels, such as oil pastels, soft pastels, and hard pastels. I have never tried hard pastels, so I don't know the exact difference myself yet, but I guess soft pastels are basically made of extremely fine particles and are excellent for rubbing and blending, which is exactly why I wanted to try it out. In secondary school, during my art lessons, I have a teeny weeny bit experience with soft pastels, but they are just a few short lessons on scribbling techniques and I have yet to try out soft pastels the way I want. By the way, do follow me on Instagram if you want to see more updates and posts. Okay, now before we try out the pastels, it's always important to wear an apron or wear a shirt you don't mind getting dirty because the pastel pigments can sure fly. I'm too shy to reveal my face on camera, but if you get me to more than 1k subscribers, then I may. Kinda impossible though. Now, let's start making art. I remember in art lessons, we used to tape the corners of the paper before making the paintings or pastel drawings, so it looks nicer with a white frame, but ah, I can't find any masking tape. I guess I'll be using this tape then. It's so pretty and I feel so sad using it for this purpose, but it's okay, it's only once. I will go buy masking tape tomorrow. Okay, so yes, time to tape the corners. This tape can be peeled off later. Don't use scotch tape because you won't be able to peel it off later without destroying your paper. Yeah. Since it was kind of my first time, I have no idea how to draw. Ooh, it looks cool. I will draw using this video as a reference today. Do also check out the video by the original artist. Time to pick out the colors. I will be using lemon yellow, chrome yellow, sky blue, cobalt blue, grey and black. And don't forget white for the highlights. In pastel drawing, it is important to start with the lightest color first before moving to the darker colors such as black. It is because pastel is very easily smudged on the paper and you wouldn't want your paper to look very dirty with black. So I started with the basic brightest colors first, yellow and blue. The reason why I found soft pastel drawings so cool is because I can blend them with my fingers. I mean, look, it's so satisfying. However, one thing to take note of is that when you're blending with your fingers, you have to consistently clean them so that you don't mess up your work. Even though the sides are black in color, it is better to start with grey color because, you know, it's better to start with lighter colors before moving to the dark ones. Now, I guess it is time for black color and I'm very scared of using black because I'm very scared I will ruin my work by touching around with my black fingers.
Oh wow, look at my hands. They are so colorful. It is important to note which finger is used to rub which color because you wouldn't want your blue color to be blended with your yellow. Oh no, my pasta, it's a mess. Oh well. Hmm, maybe instead of using my fingers to rub the paper, I can use tissue paper as well so that I will not dirty my pastas. accidentally just ruin my yellow part with my black colored hands but sometimes in art it's okay to mess up because you can always correct them and I'm done it is now time to clean up our mess just look at the mess I've made on my table along. Now, time for the most satisfying part of drawing. The peeling of tapes. So satisfying. In order to prevent your work from smudging when you touch it, it is important to use fixative. This fixative I have worked for pastel, pencil, and charcoal, so let's go! Err, I forgot my work. Oopsies. I like to spray my work outdoors 
so that my room don't smell that bad. Oops, sorry neighbors. To use the fixative, first you shake, then you open the cap and you spray. Easy peasy. Except that I'm not sure how much is enough. Like, do I spray once or twice? Or try? Or maybe just one more time, just to be sure. Let me put it there to dry. Five minutes later. Let me just touch it and I guess it's not dry. Or maybe the fixative isn't working because I have had this for over a few years. But eh, I guess it looks good to me. It's okay. Nice. Oh my god, I just dropped it. Here is how the final work looks like. I hope you guys had fun learning about pastels with me. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel to explore more about art with me. Remember, anyone can make art, as long as you can make a mark on a piece of paper. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please drop it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much once again for watching my video.